Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 129 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we've got a lot to cover. I spent 3.2 million, the freight shaker's back, and we're headed to Tucumcari with a load of tires. Let's get into it. Look at her. This is the uh, color Chris picked out for the freight shaker. It's pretty cool blue. Okay, so what happened? Well, you see, I decided to, let's go to garage manager here. Schulenberg had an issue. Even though there were five drivers there, this is what it said. Their daily profit was zero. Productivity was 7%. All the drivers there were running loads and making money. So I don't know if that was actually counting. If this is a bug, I've got entirely too much crap in here to figure out what was causing the issue. Put a post on Matt VT's Discord asking if anybody else had the issue, and they didn't. So either this is a bug on my end, or more than likely I've got a conflict somewhere with another one of his yards in Texas, I guess, probably would be my guess. Anyway, I moved those five drivers to, I think, Old Farm Road or something like that. Actually, I take that back. I moved three to Houston because I had two of my trucks in Houston with drivers. And when I say my trucks, the, the trucks that I normally drive. So I moved three of them to Houston. I moved three of them to Old Farm or the other two to Old Farm Road. And then I basically filled the other garages like Pine Hill, El Lobo Ranch, all those in New Mexico. So I think it was 18 trucks total I bought. And then the drivers, again, it would, I know I've said this before, it'd be nice to have a finance tab to keep track of this shit. Bottom line is 20 garages. We have 95 trucks, which that would be awesome to be at 100, but Schulenberg's messed up, and I'm not going to buy any more garages. So, this is what we're finishing at. 95 trucks, 95 drivers. And now we will just see how long it takes. My guess is not very long. And I have same trailer I run with this truck however since it's blue I didn't think a black shit show logistics would look very good so I changed it and this is if you buy the Bart reefer the Great Dane reefer by Bart modding this is one of the paint schemes that comes with it and you can't see it right now nice perfect had no idea it was nighttime so let's do it this way it's probably not gonna let me do this because it's attached to me, so. Well, that's a good look. And actually the trailer was, I'm trying to think of what the original color scheme was of this trailer. I think the trailer may have been red. No, it wasn't. It was black. The trailer was black. The planes and all of this were red and then the writing was white, but obviously you can change the colors, so here we go. And I am already loaded, ready to roll. And if memory serves me correctly, this is the DD60 16.4 liter engine by Zmods. But I'm fairly certain I've got 285 gears in this. Not good for drag racing, but she can motor down the highway.
made a game change too on uh well I say game change it's more of a good lord they are they spawning in like right there yeah well he's gonna have to stop Or just run into me, that's fine too. Okay, so, so far... The shifting seems a little better. Now granted, it's been... Two minutes since I started driving the truck. But in modded ATS's Discord, somebody brought up and asked if anybody had done it. Apparently, there's a setting in the config file, in your local profile config file, that uh, it's called G underscore H shifter underscore synchronization or something like that. And by default, that's set to 1. And... I change it to 0. Apparently... That makes you to have to double clutch? like you would in an actual truck. But it also... Oh, I just realized why I was having an issue in 8 high. Because I was driving the Pete 362, folks. And that has a 13 speed. Oh, I guess there's a checkbox right there for smart sequential shifting. That probably turned that off. I'm guessing that was maybe on. Okay, I guess we're in controls. Yes. 18 speed. Now we'll be good to go. So anyway, it's apparently supposed to make it more real. I don't we'll find out. Go straight. Go straight. Actually, she got uh, she gets up and goes pretty well with 40,000 pounds on her. Want to hear the DD60? Oh. Go straight. Hi, officer. such a good sound. Go straight. Okay, I just tried shifting with the clutch there, which I don't normally do. didn't have to double clutch it so I have no idea what the hell that sequential thing means anyway let's try from six high to seven low Push it in once, let out. Oh, okay. Maybe you do. I don't know, 
like I said, I use the clutch to start and stop. Other than that, it's floating. There may be the occasional time on downshifts that I have to use the clutch, but typically I don't. So again, for those that are new here, this is what I was talking about with 285 gears. I'm in seven high going 65 at 1400 RPM. What lane are we in? Left lane, okay. talked about before but if you're just hauling general freight primarily along the interstate this is the type of gearing you would want because we're going 72 right now at 1300 rpm see our instant fuel mileage is 8.8 .8. If I was in any other truck going 70 miles an hour right now in eight high, I'd be like 16, 1700 RPM and we'd be like half of that. Now, when I floor it like that, it drops down to four. But as soon as I let off and we're just cruising it, Should pull something heavy. Just to see how bad it would be. Look at that when I started recording we were at six hundred and something. We're already at eight ten. Lady, I'm not playing your game. I just looked up the GPS. She literally had me go. I mean, it would have been cool to pick up that. See how that's gray up there on the GPS? It would have been cool to pick that up. But I'm not playing this game of getting off the interstate and then getting back on. got screwed up either. I'll leave them though. They aren't bad. They could be better. Yeah, this truck has really grown on me. Turn left. Okay, so that's a... With the synchronization off... You can't just go into first gear as you're rolling like that, even with the clutch in, you have to... 
you have to be at a complete stop almost. Which maybe is their way of acting like a clutch brake? I don't know. Anyway, there's a good example. I'm doing 80, I was doing 81 miles an hour and eight low at 1400 RPM. <laughs> She's a 90 mile an hour truck easily. Seven miles an hour. is not updated for Texas or some shit or 
But we're not even in Texas. Like, what the hell is she doing? I guess we are still in Texas. I mean, I know Texas can be confusing with all the furniture roads, but holy shit. trying to do it again. If she did it again, I'm gonna be pissed. She did. Son of a bitch, man. Oh yay, discovered a new viewpoint. Look at me go. Go straight and it's gonna put me right back on the interstate. What in the hell? Mexico, so we'll see if she tries that shit. Probably won't because there's not frontage roads in New Mexico. Oh, Roadrunner, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to outrun me?
Yeah, I can't put it in first gear anymore. Until I'm at a complete stop. That's actually kind of cool. I've been playing this how long and I just find out about that. Anyway. Learn something new every day, folks. seem familiar but apparently I have according to the GPS up there since it's yellow after 100 yards turn right sad part is I can't take that even if I wanted to with this truck because I have the under airlines and electrical are coming out the ass end of the truck instead of where it normally would alright now let's not hit this trailer backing up
depress the hell out of myself sometimes. to Sterling, Utah, Roswell, Provo. Let's go to Roswell. Oh, fantastic. It's already been loaded. <laughs> nice. Seven hours and five minutes of sleep. You got a three hour run. I think we can make it. Oh, here you go. Let's check this out. Look at her go. The blue is not exact because when I put the same paint coat in on the trailer, it was actually darker. So I tried to finagle it to get it. It's damn close. I almost wish the uh, gray on the truck was actually black with this trailer, but it's all good. Shows you how much I double clutch because I have no idea how the hell that's supposed to work. After 100 yards, turn left. I'll just continue floating. Turn left. I mean, I know how to double clutch. I'm just not understanding how the hell the game wants you to do it. Really? Jackasses? If I would have turned left to cut him off, he would have kept going and ran right into me. Wow, they actually want you at a complete stop. Okay. We'll get used to it. Eventually. <laughs>
already back to one million in the bank account.
Please turn left. Oh, this intersection. Turn left. doesn't appear I'm going to have to do anything funny though other than this. I forgot to tell you on the truck is I stretched the frame so I went from a long frame to stretch so that's as long as this girl can get stay in your lane time that's why there's so much space between the the reefer unit in the back of the truck
destination. Up to 1.1, so we made 500,000 that episode. Fantastic. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 129 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.